Microsoft has just released their Business Analyst Professional Certificate. And this is really exciting because it's supposed to help beginners go from zero to a business analyst job fast. It is a fantastic career that you can get without a degree or any experience, and it offers high pay and often the ability to work from home as well. I've reviewed a lot of courses on this channel, and I can already tell you that this is a great certificate, but I do have some concerns that you need to be aware of before you get started. And if you start this one right away without knowing these things, then the honest truth is that you might waste a lot of time without seeing the results that you want. So it's a five minute video and I'm just gonna clear up everything about this certificate in this quick video. We're just gonna begin with a summary and then we'll get into all the details that you need to know. Now it is a beginner level course at three months at 10 hours a week. And it means that the course material is estimated to take learners around 120 hours to complete. This is the reason why it's so important to know what you're getting into, but I would say that most people can probably complete this faster, as it's usually the case with Coursera programs. The goal is to help you launch a career as a business analyst and build job-ready skills. It's very new, so there are basically no final reviews, but as you can see, it's a program from Microsoft, and you can be sure that it's a good one because they're putting their entire brand name on the line, and they made a lot of courses in the past as well, and they've all been great. Now you can enroll for free, and if you do want to try it out, but you will have to pay if you want to get the final certificate for your subscription, basically. They do also offer financial aid for those who cannot afford it, but I want to make a separate video on that, so make sure that you subscribe to get notified when I do post that video. Now, in this course at hand, you're going to learn a few key things. First, you'll be able to analyze and identify different documents and business problems and different opportunities using requirement gathering techniques. And you'll be using Microsoft Excel for data preparation, analysis and visualization, which is not a surprise considering how it's Microsoft's own course. But it's a good thing because Excel is very popular amongst many companies as well. You will also be able to model business processes and data using different techniques and communicate these models to stakeholders. And finally, you should be able to demonstrate your new skills with a final capstone project using real world scenarios. This is a project at the end of this course, which we'll talk more about later. Now to give you a better idea, it might also be interesting to take a look at some of the skills that you'll gain in this course. In the list, we can see a lot of different skills with everything from Excel to data analysis to data modeling and different tools like Power BI and methodologies like Agile and Scrum. So there are a lot of things that you learn in this course. When you do complete it, you'll be able to get some resources from Coursera and they do include some resume reviews as well as interview preparation site, which this interview prep site is actually pretty good and you can do some mock interviews. This is definitely a plus because most of us actually struggle with interviews. And if you're able to practice this and really get better at it, you'll be way more likely to get a job fast as you don't really have to take as many interviews and you can just nail the ones that you actually take. There's also another bonus, which we'll talk more about later, which is the 50% discount on the certification exam called PL900. But we'll get to all that stuff later. Now, I actually want to break down the certificate itself and the different courses and see how they work. And there are six different courses in this certificate. And to receive the final certificate, you have to complete all of the courses. The first one is called Business Analysis Fundamentals, and it's 16 hours. And then we also have data for business analysts using Microsoft. Microsoft Excel. So it's a course focusing specifically on using Excel to work with forms of structured data. There is also the data and business process modeling with Microsoft Visio, which is a software by Microsoft used to make different types of diagrams, simply put. We also have the requirements gathering in business analysis, which is a very important part as well. And number five is going to be Power Platform in business analysis. Power Platform is basically a bunch of different apps by Microsoft, including Power BI, Power Automate, Power Apps, and such. And the final one is going to be very interesting as well, and we'll take a closer look at this one, because it's called Project Delivery in Business Analysis and Capstone Project. The content has not yet been released, so it's going to be a little bit hard to analyze this one completely, but basically, you're going to be focusing on delivering a project. And having a project can be a great idea when you're looking for jobs, because you have something to put in your portfolio, something to show recruiters, especially if you come from a non-related background and you're self-taught. Now let's talk about the demand for these skills on the job market. And before you get into a job like this, you really wanna make sure that you're not gonna spend a lot of time just getting into a field that's not gonna be available in the future. You wanna make sure that it's going to be a sustainable career. 
I found some data from the US Bureau of Labor Statistics. Now, I wasn't able to find something really specific for the business analyst job, but it's important to note that there are a variety of different jobs, not just for the job title business analyst, they're kind of under the same umbrella. And business analysis is a skill, and then you might just apply it to different areas, such as IT, you know, different systems, you might focus on the operation side, and there are many different things that you can do. So when you're searching for jobs, it is important to consider different roles and not just those that exactly say something along the lines of business analyst. In this case, I also found some jobs that might fall under the business analysis category. And the first one is financial analyst, which is projected to grow at 6% in the next 10 years. We also have management analyst at around 14% growth and market research analyst at 22% growth and operations research analyst at 25% growth. All of these are faster than average for jobs. And on a high level, it's no surprise that business analysis is growing as a field as markets are becoming more competitive for companies. And it's about optimizing things and analyzing to be able to stay ahead. Now, it's also really important to see what other options are available before you get started. So I'm going to compare this one with three other options available on Coursera. The first one is the Tableau Business Intelligence Analyst. And while it's not exactly the same role, they do share quite a few things. Here, it's important to note that it's specifically working with Tableau. And the Microsoft one is focusing more on Microsoft tools such as Power BI. I would also say that it's focusing more on BI rather than business analysis, although all of these terms can kind of get mixed up. So it's best to just look at the curriculum. We also have the Statistical Business Analyst Professional Certificate. This one is quite popular, but it's very specific and it's focusing entirely on the SaaS software suite. And if you're looking to learn those things, that's great. But otherwise, I would not use it because it's going to teach you a very specific skill. It's also much shorter at only one month at 10 hours a week. So I guess you could complete it as a bonus if you want to learn that specific skill. We also have Google's most relevant course to the Microsoft certificate, and it's called Google Business Intelligence Professional Certificate. They do share quite a few things, but this one is more focusing on technical skills like SQL, ETL, and they also do list business analysis as a core skill, but it's not, you know, the main focus of the course. It is also slightly shorter at two months at 10 hours a week. But also let me know if you want a full video comparing these ones, as I think it might be pretty interesting as well. And earlier I mentioned something about a discount. Do you remember? Well, you actually get 50% off the PL900 certification exam if you do decide to take it. It's completely up to you, but it might be a really good option. This means that if you do complete the entire certificate on Coursera, you will also get a voucher which you can use to save 50%. PL900 is a certification that's also called Microsoft Power Platform Fundamentals, and it's a beginner level certification. It's just a 45 minute test, and then you take it one time and then you get certified. The price for the certification is $99 in the US or lower depending on your region. But again, remember that you also have a 50% discount. Now, whether it's worth taking is completely up to you, but it could be worth it. It's not some form of like super advanced certification that's going to be a game changer, but it could be a good way to prove your ability to work with Microsoft Power Platform if that is something that you're looking to do. It's still a very new certificate, but I hope this gave you a good idea of some of the core ideas behind it. And the most important thing is that it's aligning with your goals. So you want to consider what those are before you decide to start this course. If it is a good course for you, then I'll leave a link in the description where you can try it out completely for free. And you can also watch another certificate review somewhere on the screen that might be a better option for you. Thanks for watching.